Okay, guys, this is the challenge. So five minutes for all the best fragrances. I'm gonna divide it into sweet, fresh, and niche fragrances. So let's start. For the sweet fragrances, Spice Bomb Extreme. Super versatile fragrance for winter occasions, a spice, bomb, vanilla, and cinnamon. 10 out of 10. La Nuit de L'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Perfect for nighttime dating, perfect cardamom, sexy, alluring fragrance. But not performing so much. Bentley for men, intense. This is a boozy, leathery fragrance, perfect for formal occasions if you feel like a true man. Talking about men, this is the most masculine fragrance of the line of John Barbados, Dark Rebel. This smells like tobacco and rum. It's perfect for kind of a pirate beard uh, man, strong and masculine. Then I have Armani Code Profumo. This is the main fragrance for uh, nighttime for a disco club. It smells a little bit synthetic, but it's expensive and super long lasting. People love it. Uh, it smells kind of one million in that direction. And then we have Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage, super versatile, the fragrance that I recommend to every teenager. I really like it. Johnny Depp made the commercial, so everyone loves it, everyone buys it. It's one of the most best sellers, so it's not that unique anymore. But it's super long lasting with an Ambroxan Accord. And then we have, lastly, the Azaro Wanted by Night. Perfect for nighttime occasions, summer, no, sorry, uh, autumn, so fall and winter time. And then we go with maybe the last one even could be Carolina Herrera CH Man Privé. This is also boozy with a touch of kind of whiskey accord. I really like it, everyone loves it, better with a black leather jacket. Let's go with the fresh ones. Aqua di Gio Profumo. This is the perfect office fragrance. Everyone loves it. A touch of incense and patchouli, kind of dark but lasts a long time. Then we have Prada Lom. This is another office fragrance. It's soapy, but smells very sophisticated and formal. Everyone loves it, but it doesn't last that long as Aqua di Gio. John Barbato's Artisan Pure. This smells like uh, Caribbean party uh, on the beach. Very fruity, very uh, sexy and citrusy. You will love it, but it doesn't last a long time, but it's quite cheap. Another one is Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo. This is perfect for the office. It smells like a formal man that tries to sell you something in a positive way. I really like it. It's kind of a shower gel, peppery fragrance. It's very cheap, but it's, it, it's, it lasts a long time. Then we have Allure Homme Sport Chanel or Extreme. This is citrusy, sporty. People love it, it lasts a long time, but it's quite expensive. It smells vanilla, sweet uh, and fresh, very citrusy. Not one of my favorites, but it's one of the best. And then lastly, we have Versace Dylan Blue, the most versatile fragrance, I think, in my opinion. You can, it's dark, but it's very aquatic, it's not that expensive, and people can wear it everywhere they want. And then last few things, maybe you can do them both for summertime, this is Nautica Voyage, very cheap, perfect for a summer vacation, it smells like shower gel. And this is Jean-Paul Gaultier, all fresh, the I Love Gaultier version. The fresh one, the fresh version of the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal line, uh, it smells very, it smells like cucumber, like a cucumber accord, but in a sexual way, I really love it, people love it. And then the niche ones, we have Razazi La Yucca one, kind of Tuscan leather, but sweeter and better, long-lasting. Woodwood by Tom Ford, my favorite fragrance at the moment. Very sophisticated and formal, perfect for a CEO type of a vibe and woody. This is L'Air du Désert Marocain by Andy Tower. This smells like the desert, the alchemist by Paolo Coelho, the book. And then we have the last three. We have Montale, Arabian Stonka. This is super seductive, oriental, very sweet and sugary. Super long lasting. Herod by Parfum de Marly, perfect for dating. So vanilla and raspberry and tobacco, very masculine. And this is super sophisticated and seductive. And the last one is Christian Dior by Oud Ispan. Formal rose wood 
and everyone loves it and it lasts a long time. And bam, this is five minutes. <laughs> wow, this was such a hard thing to do. I also forgot to mention some fragrances, but these ones are the best one in my opinion. So thanks a lot for watching. Some honorable mention, uh, the office fragrances, of course, the fragrance one fragrances are all good. The black tie, the unisex, uh, they are the very good ones, the date. I love them all for those occasions. And all the other ones, I mean, great other ones. There is maybe Jaguar. Jaguar Pace, great, very cheap. Maybe I could have mentioned also Mont Blanc Individual, but it's not one of my favorites. It's pretty good, it lasts a long time, kind of Yop Hom, that kind of vibe. Maybe I could have mentioned the Thamine fragrances, they are all great, but I'm gonna talk about it in other videos. Maybe I could have mentioned the Unforgivable by Sean John, but it's not like the best fragrance ever. It's kind of a Millezim Imperial by Creed Aventus cheap version. Yeah, I could have mentioned other fragrances, of course, but these were the best. Also Pure Excess, good for nighttime, but these were my favorites. So guys, I have a lot of fragrances right here. There's also another shelf, you cannot see it, but these were my favorites. So thanks a lot, challenge accepted. It was just five minutes. So if you watch from the end to the, uh, from the beginning to the end, it was just five minutes. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Challenge accepted, challenge completed, and I'll see you in the next videos.